All right, so the next part is I want to show uh, you how to create a list fragment. So let's create another fragment here. It'll be similar to the regular fragment. I'll call it um, work list fragment. So here is the same, a similar function we saw earlier. Looks exactly same as before. So I'm going to just uh, let me collapse this. I don't need all of these here. Now this list fragment must extend not the fragment, but the list fragment. So now, and then all you need here is really two functions. One is the unattach. Remember that when you attach the list to the activity, you need to know that, right? So where it's been used. In our case, we're gonna attach it to the main activity here so that we have the list view show in the main activity. When we run the app on the main page, um, I want to see on the main page, right? I want to see the list of activities here, but we're not using a list view, we're using a list fragment. When I click on a particular item, it's gonna jump over to the detail page and then list the detail information here, okay? So, that's what we're going to load, but go back to the work list fragment. So you need the un unattach function. If you just hit enter here. And then you also need the uncreate view. And so before we return, we return that back to the container, we want to do some processing here. Okay, so in here, you're going to create an interface. The interface is either a part of this fragment. Usually it is if it's only working in this fragment here, you can put it inside here or you can put it outside, doesn't matter, okay? Um, but you can put it inside here in the class space. And this has to be set to public and static so you can access it. Um, I don't think you need public, you just say static, should be fine interface and then what do you want to call this one here you can call it the listener it listens to events we're going to create just one function where you you click an item on the list if you call it the item click so void uh, item click it's common and when you click on this function we're going to pass into this function an id the id here is the position of that list. So whoever uses interface must implement this function. So here again, I put inside here, see if it's too confusing, you can put outside like this, it's okay too. Once you put outside, you can't put static here. Yeah, just put outside for now, you can understand a bit better. You wanna separate these, and usually you put into a separate class, right? But it's just so simple, I'll just leave it here. So inside here then, I'm going to create a, um, a private, uh, listener object called the same thing, okay? So it's pointing to this class here, an object of that type. And so somewhere I have to inject the activity object to this class so you can use it, okay? So where do you do that? You do that when you attach to an object, the context, context. So this context is the object of wherever it's coming from, whichever activity is. So if I'm using the main activity, it'll be the main activity object. If we're calling from the work activity, it'll be that. So inside here then, I'm going to set this listener to that context and you want to convert to the same type because again, just object. So I'm assigning this object here, wherever it's coming from, I don't care, right? I don't need to know. I assign that to this listener here so that I can invoke this objects function. Okay. So now, a pause here. 
Now let's go over to the other side. I'm gonna list my view on this activity page here. So my main page, um, what do I have? I'm going to create a function. Uh, this is the main page, yeah. So I'll create a function somewhere down here such that when I click on an item, I'm going to call the function um, item click. What do you call? Yeah, item click. But I need to I need to uh, um, implement this interface. Okay, so over here, uh, I'm going to add here implements the interface called listener. So now you can see I'm forced to create or implement that function called item clicked. Just OK, and there it is. This is the function I need to implement. So when I click on this icon, this function here, what do I need to do? I want to pass in the item that's selected from the list. This ID is that ID. I'm going to pass it over to the workout activity. Okay. So instead of going to button, go directly there this way, I'm going to send it off to um, I'll use this same part here. I'm going to start the activity. Let's put this here for now. I'm in the same class. So, best this destination. But I also want to get an ID. This ID here. Pass this ID along to the workout activity so it knows how to use it. So, the workout activity, what does it do? Well, if you look at over here, Right, we need to pass an ID to the fragment here. I manually insert a three and one in here. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to pass in here a number that has been passed over from this main activity, and that is this ID here. Okay, so before I start the activity over here, um, in this case, I, I can't do it this way because I need to create the intent. So let's take this out. Sorry, let's do it back here again. Uh, it'll be intent. We'll pass the intent here. Reason why is because I need to pass that ID over. So intent that put extra. Remember that one? So you put an ID here. Let's put here um, work ID. We'll pass in the ID here. Okay. So the ID goes over. And then we start activity on the activity side. So when I get to the activity page, I need to retrieve the activity, right? So I would just do here, int ID equal to, and you get the you get the int from get uh, intent dot get int extra. Because then I'm using the integer, and it takes two things. The name is called work underscore ID, and if that doesn't match, the default will be zero. Okay, so now I got that ID. Then I pass this ID to that fragment. Right. This will be um, the same one. I'm not gonna do. But let me let me turn off this one here. Yeah, it's confusing. Let's let's turn this off. I don't need the second one. So I'm gonna just remove that one, okay? The um activity workout. So let's remove the second one. We just keep one. Okay, so I pass that ID over to the fragment object. What ID is over here should be the same as before. You just get the ID, you, you pass it here. Right, and then it will display that information here. I'm only setting the title here. Okay, okay so again, we're stuff with the main, main activity. When an item is clicked, we call this function, we pass ID here. But how does it know what to click, where to do that? Well, the clicking part is done inside the fragment list, right? It does it in here. So in here then, I need to do something to make that work. And 
to make it work, if you remember, we set we remember we set like a an, an adapter to um you know load a listener and then load that to the list and so forth. So the list here, we need to uh, we need to populate the list first with the data. Um, so let's see, I need to get the data from the work class. So let's do right here. We're just gonna first gonna get the name of that list. So I'll put um, the name will be just strings, right? Yeah, we just get the name of the list and we'll display this name to the list fragment, okay? This is like the list view. So you will just build the list. So I need to get that from the names. They're coming from the work out that works for the work, get works either one. Sorry, no, I'm going to set the array first. String type and the size of this will be the workout. So the work out that works object, workouts object, right? And then we'll get the, um, the length of that. We'll tell you how many um, you know, how many content we have inside that workouts array. And I'm gonna put it over here. So this just tells me the size of the array. And I know because we only create five, because we only have one, two, three, four, actually only four, but we don't know that, right? It could be more or less. So it, it's actually better to find the length of that. And if it's, this is confusing, you always do this, okay? And then put here the string of length, right? And then now I have to populate this list of names with the actual text. So you have to use the for loop in here. At zero, I less than the length and then I plus plus. And then I'm gonna set the names of each position to the workout that works of I, I mean, sorry, workout of I dot get the name, right? Object. Okay, you can do that, or another way is of course you can call the function get yeah, works and then of i. Okay, because I we, we made both of them, so either one will be fine. But we'll stick with this one here since we made it public anyway. So now we populate the names here with all those names. There are five of them. And then now we need to display to the view. Where is this gonna go? Well, we're gonna populate this view here to the main page. Okay, the main activity here. So that means in the main activity right here, we're gonna add a, a list view back in here. Okay, so it would be the fragment. I mean, not list view, I'm sorry, the fragment here. The width would be the wrap the content. Um, no, the width, I want the parent. Wrap the parent, match the parent, sorry. And then the height will be just wrap the content. You don't want it, you don't want it to fill the whole space. And then you need an ID as well. The ID will be um, ID of um, fragment rag list. And then where does this coming from? So it's coming from the name. Of this fragment is coming from the detail the work list. Okay. So now we link this fragment and the main layout to the work list fragment. So we need to populate this fragment here with the content. Here, now we got the data we want. We now need to populate the list fragment. So how do we do that? Well, we use the adapter, so we're gonna say set list adapter, just like before, set list, like before we did a list view. 
And so here we're going to new array adapter. It's the same one I used before. And then the type in the bracket here will be the type of what this one is. It's a strings, right? So it's composed of only strings, and that's what we want. Inside here, um, three things. Uh, we need the contact. Where is it going? So in this case, this you just, you just have to remember this, okay? Inflator that get the contacts. The first thing. And then here is the layout that we need is the Android sim simple one. Android R that layout that simple one, okay? Just a, a single list. And let me just move it to a separate line, it's easier. And then the third one is what data should we populate with? Is this variable here? That is the array list of information you want to fill to that list. Okay, so this part here it does does it for us. It populates it for us, and um, I think that could do it for now. But that's test first. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna in, in, implement the click feature yet. I want to make sure that this actually loads the content. Okay, here we go, right? So our main fragment activity, we have the button, which is this guy up here, is still functional, because we said earlier. And there is the list view of the fragment view. Now these are not uh, functional yet, because we haven't done that yet. But you see that we fill up this fragment with the data from this class called work list fragment. In this case, we don't really care about this ID here. Right? It, notice that we didn't mention this at all in the list um, here. It knows it already because we already, had, we already mentioned that. Right? So we, we get the data from the database uh, um, class. We get all the names only. And then we populate the list using the adapter, array adapter. This automatically uh, inflate the data and the view as well, the list view. And then it populates the view, the list view in this case, with the names on that list. And now they're here. And so now the next thing is, when I click on one of these items, what should it go, right? What should it do? Okay. So now, okay, I'm gonna go and um, create the function on, I think on list item, item, yeah, this one here, on list item click. Okay, so this is the overloaded, overrider method. This one here runs automatically for you. You don't have to create listeners for that, remember? That I didn't have to attach, find the ID where that is, right? I don't have to because it manages directly by this guy right here and it knows this is where it's gonna go. Okay, so I don't have to say even listeners which one is click. It does it automatically for you behind the scene because of this list fragment class. Okay, so I just call this function. It happens automatically. And then the you know, here is the list view. This list view here. The view here is the actual view itself. The list view has, has the information. The position, as you can see, is the position of that, the index and the ID of that as well. So when I get to this page, I'm clicking one item at a time. So I know exactly which one. Which one is it? Well, this one, right? So I don't have to check which one is which, which is which. It's already given here. Because we have access to a listener up here. Remember this listener? This listener is actually listening to this object the main activity. So the main activity class has a function called item clicked because they both shared the same interface, listener. So now this fragment knows, I mean, it doesn't care who is invoking this. All it knows is that it attaches that to the listener object up here. So here then I just basically listener dot this item click function right here. And it needs an ID. Well, there's the ID here. So this or this one, either one is fine. If you pass in the ID, then you have to convert it to an int. If you use position, then you don't have to. So I use the position here because it matches the other side. 
So this function here now is really the main activities function here. So it takes an integer. So the ID comes here and then you pass the ID over to the work activity. And then the work activity gets that ID back here. And then it adds that to the fragment. So that's safe and let's see what happens here. All right, I wanna click on the strength and length. You see it says strength and length. Just make sure we go back and click on the core agony. Okay, so we got that here. And then, and so on. So that's how list fragment works. So in this case, I don't care who it is. I don't need to know. All I know is I'm attaching that to the listener in the context here. So if it's coming from, you know, that activity, super activity, whatever activity is, then the listener is always that object. And it, because they're using the same listener interface, when you click it on here, it's going to invoke that object's function in a way. So this way is the better way because again, you make this very flexible. It works with any case. Now the old way we used to do is this. Instead of going to this listen object, I would do intent, right? New intent, I mean, I mean intent, just like before, new intent, What I need to pass here, what if you pass in uh, the context? What context? Well, let me import this first. Context is the view here. Right? If you look at the main one, we say this, right? This is the main activity. So the work list, the view here is that this activity. So you put here, go to the view, the v dot get context. Okay, that is the context that we're gonna uh, coming from, because again, the fragment does not have, because it doesn't exist by itself. So it needs the actual parent or the actual activities uh, object here. And then the destination is gonna go to the detail fragment. No, no, the workout activity, I'm sorry. The workout activity that class, right? This is something you're already very familiar with. And then I have to set the ID, um, intent, that put extra and then work ID, the same ID as used the other side has to match. I'm gonna pass in the position and then I start activity, pass in the intent. This is something you will be very familiar with, right? This will work, of course, um, because I'm going to the same place as I want this space here. Just make sure this ID matches the one over here, which is right here, right? So, try again and run. Okay, as you can see, it worked just like before, no problem. Okay, so you can do this or do the listener way. And this is the preferred way. Why? Because this way I'm locked into this class, right? What if I have a, a separate class that I want to use this? Well, I have to keep changing this to another class, you know, worker activity, user activity, you know, some somebody's activity, that class. So I'm gonna end up having a long list of like switch case or an if and else block. If, you know, the current, the destination is workout, then go here else if, else if, right? So you, 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 you're already um, limited to that capacity. But if I'm using the listener activity, click, I don't, I don't really care. I'm not limited to however many is, okay? Whoever it is, I'm just delegating this to whoever this object is to do its job. And over here is what this intent is happening because the main activity might be sending that to the work activity. Another object class might send to a different activity. So let them handle where they're supposed to go. My job is basically just to give you, here's the ID. 
So that's why this is the preferred way to, to do it. 